Okay, everybody. Here we go. Here's proving my theory on the Antichrist. Here we go. Revelations chapter 13, verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Okay, there you go. Six hundred three score and six. It says right here in Revelations. And he who has wisdom, let him understand. Okay, and count the number of a man. It's a man. And it's his number, what represents what he's coming in, which is his technology, Kesha's technology. Um, let me explain to you how, how I know. I can say how I think, but I know. How he's the Antichrist. Now you got... For one thing, here you go. Here's the uh, Maggrav power unit. And you have right here, see, one, two, three, four, five, six coils, okay? Three score, one, two, three, see? You have to put them in series and you stack them on top of each other and they create the power, okay? You put GANs in the middle here, which is the plasma that you can make out of normal seawater that they don't know how to do right now. That uh, uh, without the sun, um, without hydrogen repulsion is what the universities don't know how to do right now, which I can do out of normal seawater. And you take a nano-coated plate on one side and a uh, galvanized plate on the other side and add a wire to it in between the two and... A 1.5 volt battery and you get your GANs. It takes about 24 hours. The uh, salt water starts to turn to a fatty substance. If you leave it overcooking, it turns to blood. I can make blood out of seawater. <laughs> so if you leave it overcooking, it turns to blood. So you don't overcook it. You got to watch it carefully. So when it turns to a, uh, like a gooey white substance, then you take it out you take the lid off, let it uh, dry out, let the water evaporate, dry out, and what's left is GANs, which is plasma, pure plasma. And that's what you put in the middle here, okay? That's plasma. And how it works is you nano coat the rings here, these, these, these coils. I'll show you here. So here's the coils. Okay, and you nano coat them, which how you do that, they aren't teaching in any universities yet, I can do it right now in my kitchen. You take a caustic substance and you put it in a Tupperware container and you put it above, you know, an area where you're going to pour in hot water. And you pour in hot water and the caustic material and the steam, basically the vapor, nano coats it. It makes it super conductive so that electrons travel with very little resistance, if none. So, at any rate, there you go. That's how you nano coat. Now, you don't want to touch it with your fingers. Kesh already said, don't touch it with your hands because it will take your soul. Basically, it, it's uh, interactive with any plasma, so everything around it, which is you. You are plasma. That's why you don't touch it with your hands. Um... It says right here, it's pretty interesting how he's a non-profit, non-religious, scientific organization. But at the same time, the very first thing on do's and don'ts that he says, and he says it throughout his instructions, these are off his site, and these are his blueprints, by the way, is pray. Look at this right here. Always pray for your device. Isn't that something? Now, why would, you, why would you pray if he's non-religious? Yeah. Well, he's a liar. But he's bringing fallen angel technology that we're going to need, and everybody's going to embrace it. See, it's going to be different. It's not like people think that, oh, they got to take the number. No. No, the number's voluntarily taken. See? People are going to fall and be duped and fall into this. Even the elect, if possible, the Bible says. So, the Lord's let me see this, so obviously, I'm not going to fall into it. 
<laughs> but anybody that embraces this technology, which they're going to have to do to survive, because what's going to happen is going to be terrible. And they're going to need food, water. You're going to need health. You're, you're going to need everything. And this provides it. This unit right here provides it. Provides it. So anyway, that is why I think Kesh is the Antichrist right there. As his coils add up to it, and he came up with a fallen angel technology that's going to change everything as we know it. And it makes our militaries obsolete. Can bring them down just like that. Clean cut capture. Take them right out of the air. Pop! Take them back. Okay. So there you go. And he's going to work through the kings. He's already admitted he's given the key. And it's interesting how he said key because the Bible mentioned the key. He gives the key to all the kings, which he's already said he's done. He's given the key to the ambassadors of all the countries. And there's certain countries that wouldn't accept it, like the U.S. corporation, because it would bring down the, the economy. Okay, there you go. Yes, sir. The GAMS goes right here in the middle, which is your plasma, which creates the energy, which is reciprocal. Basically, it goes from the middle to the outer nano-coated coil to the next outer, and then it goes back in and back in again. It just revolves, it creates a field. You're creating a magnetic field is what you're doing. And it continuously runs for about 40 years off this little bit of plasma you make. Amazing. With no loss of power. And the only reason you have to coat the wires is because you have to reverse engineer it because this is advanced technology. So, like Kesh said, you, once you get into his, his classes, you don't, in his instructional, uh, videos you don't have to even uh, you don't have to use wire plasma will travel on its own you just have to get the magnetics right so we don't even need wire but what he's trying to do is adapt it to the <laughs> to the caveman day wiring that we have okay think about how long we've had wiring that's all we've ever had since Thomas Edison you think that's all the technology they've had no they created this 40 years ago but now it's being let out because it's getting near the end. Okay, there you go, people. Um, that's that. That's why I think it's 666. He's the number of the beast. And uh, God bless you. Good luck.